Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So today my client came in. Um, she came in to basically get a renewal of her haircut that she had before. And then of course we're gonna be covering up some areas in the front that she has a little bit of traction alopecia and just kind of nurse her hair back to health. So you guys get to see the haircut, um, especially for those of you who are dealing with issues like traction alopecia and you want to see or you want to cover those areas, you'll basically be able to see all of that today. So I've already gone ahead and done a retouch relaxer on her. I did do somewhat of a, of a preliminary cut um, just to get the sides and back lower. And then for the top, we want to see you know how much length she had. So we didn't take a lot off of the top just yet. This is actually going to be um, the time when we kind of determine, you know, the direction that we're going. Now, let me ask you, do you want to keep the length at the top or do you want it to be more like a pixie? Huh? It could be more of a pixie. That's why I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Uh, <laughs> I, was looking, I was looking at the front. <laughs> Maybe we could do more of a pixie. More of a pixie, okay. okay. So, have you seen my haircut? Where it's longer, kind of longer in the front. Or on the top and then the sides are short? Yes. Is that what we were thinking of or did you want to go shorter than that? No. That's good? Yes. And then do you want it flipped or you want it to go down? Uh, down. Down. Gotcha. All right. So we just made the decision to do a pixie. You guys saw that. Okay, good. So I'm going to go ahead and part her out. Um, the crown is typically the last place that I touch. I like to work on the sides and the back first. And then we work with the crown. So I'm going to go ahead and section that area off for now. And then for the actual haircut, I like to start in the nape. All right, have you took down for me. So we're gonna start here. Now, if you're not able to see your direction, you can part that area out. I usually part like right at the occipital bone. If I can't see, you know, everything that I need to see in regards to creating my guide, and then I'll just pin that part off until I'm ready for it so I can start here. Okay, so we're going to do shears over comb just to kind of get some of the weight off first, and then I'll go back with my shears as normal. You wear a lot of wigs? Sometimes, okay. Mm -hmm. Only that I can tell by how it looks. In the back? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start with the cut. And then for her relaxer, I actually did a mild relaxer on purpose because I could tell that the areas that I'm going to relax in, we relaxing were really fragile, and I knew that her hair would relax and at a fast pace. So that's the reason why I use a mild relaxer instead of just using a sensitive scalp. Sensitive scalp is considered mild, but it also is kind of like a time delay in more words. So that's why I use the mild. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Whichever relaxer system works for you and it gets your clients nice and, and straight or straight enough to your liking, then you definitely can use them. I don't really ever ask people, oh, what relaxer do you use? Because it doesn't really matter. Honestly, it's how you use the relaxer that's going to really depict it. And at the same time, if that relaxer is made to leave more body in the hair, meaning it has more conditioner, or if it doesn't, that kind of thing. Is it better to not relax thin or alopecia hair? It just depends. It's on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, you know, some people would say, oh, no, you shouldn't put any chemicals on it. That means you shouldn't use shampoo either. You know, so it's kind of like a yin and a yang, whichever is for the greater good and whatever works best for you, then you do it. For me, there's no other way for me to get my clients straight in the liking that they want without a relaxer. So, you know, I haven't seen it do any harm. Majority of the time, if a relaxer does any harm, it's because of something that's been done after the fact or you just neglecting it. So I'm, right now I'm just following my guide and creating my base for my cut here. And then I'm not going to cut directly 
in the front because that's where the traction is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna over direct some of her hair from the areas where it's just fine to fill in these areas here. So you don't wanna automatically go in and you just start cutting everything off because then you're not gonna be able to mask anything. So this is when you wanna make sure that you have an idea of the direction that you're going with the haircut. So you know what you want your outcome to be, you know what your client's outcome is gonna be, and then you, you, know, you kind of scale back from there. The worst thing you can do is go cut, 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 and now you don't have enough hair to actually cover that area. So I always like to look and see, you know, what, how much hair I actually need to cover that area, which I'm gonna use majority of that hair, and then just go from there. Okay, so for this area here, I am only going to over direct it just so I can trim those little hairs off and then go back forward. So I'm not going to take a lot of hair off of this area just yet. I'm going to wait until I mold her, but I am going to just clean it up slightly. So I know that at some point I'm going to have to do some sort of over direction. And if I cut majority of this off, then all of this is going to be exposed. So that's not what you want. And then same thing on this side. So I go from one side and then the other side. Sometimes I'll go up in the back and go from there. But this is typically how I like to cut. And then you always want to make sure you're following the shape of the head. As I always say, the head is the shape of an orange, not a square, so you don't want to create a block cut. When will the edge kit be available again? It was available earlier today. Um, I have to go and check stock and then I'll, I'll update it if I can. All right, so this side, same thing. So I'm gonna come on this part here. Put this way for me. So this side is not so extensive, so I don't need a whole bunch of hair to mask that area, but I'm not going to eliminate everything now. I'm still going to wait until she's dry. I'll just kind of clean it up. And then once she's dry, I can go through and do some detailing, that kind of thing. And then I don't edge my client until it's time for the edge. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you drive crazy with this phone. Um, it takes so long. Takes so long. Yeah. Okay. All right, gotcha. Okay. Well, that puts it one second. Okay. All right. So she's gonna keep some of the length. So what I'm gonna do is start from the back and then work my way up and create graduation where everything's not just a blunt cut.
And the reason why I do it this way is once she's dry, then I can go through and fine tune everything. So this is more like preliminary for the crown. That's why I like to do it that way. So I know that at the front, I still have some length just in case. So if your cut is right, the profile will be right. Even though it might be too long, your profile of the haircut will be right. So that's how you know your profile is right or you're going in the right direction. You should be able to really see the graduation. Okay? So that's where I like to start. And then I'm going to take some off the sides, not a whole bunch. I'm still going to blend her sides because we're not doing a disconnected haircut. We're going to do a connected cut. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to use some of the Elite Silk Wrap Foam. I'm also going to get one wrap strip and a couple of end papers. So we're going to get that ready. So with this mold, I'm not putting a line in the hair. You don't want a line. You want to make it as natural as possible to this way. Okay, and then the area where we're having, um, where we're masking, you're going to make sure that you go ahead and create your, your foundation exactly the way you know you want it to look. Just like that. So it's not supposed to look like she has any type of traction alopecia. It's supposed to look like how I want to finish the style. I want it to look like there's nothing going on. <clears throat> Same thing on this side. Same thing there. And then we're gonna make sure that all the hair in the front is nicely molded.
right? So I'm gonna put a little bit of gel right at the nape or right under the occipital bone. So I'm using a little bit of Ampro gel. This is whenever you see like there's a lot of frizzies or flyaways tilt down for me, or you notice that the hair doesn't want to stay as straight as you want it to. I use a little bit of gel. Okay. I'm going to comb it in. Now the key to this to keep it from getting hard in that area is to take a little bit more wrap foam and you're going to go over it. And the wrap foam keeps it soft. Okay. All right, so I'm going to take my end papers and lay them right over this area. Okay, same thing on the sides. And paper. And then on this side, same thing. And paper. Turn this dryer on. And then you're gonna take your wrap strip, and your wrap strip will hold the end papers in place, but also seal off the other areas. Okay, so I stretched it out first. Nice and snug on the head. Tie it in a bow. I cut off the excess just so it's not all in her face. Okay, and then she will go under the dryer for about 30 to 45 minutes. And at that time, we'll do the finish of her curl and cut. Thank you, my dear. Mm -hmm. um, and go from there. So I'm going to do a part two to this video. So there will be a part two to this video. Uh, let me answer any of your questions before I cut the video off. Let's see. Hi, I'm Terry from Georgia. I love your videos. You're straight, so straightforward. You keep it 100. Thank you. I'm located in Orlando, Florida. I should be a Cosmo teacher? Never. Because I gave my Cosmo teachers nothing but hell. What is the best hair protector to use for quick weaves when you have traction alopecia? Um, I use this line called Protective Shield by Robert Diamond. Robert's Diamond Bond Protective Shield. That's what I use. Uh, what is the remedy for alopecia? There is none. There's no remedy. You can slow it down. You can somewhat reverse it. But at the end of the day, it comes in different forms for different reasons. What kind of braids you have? How long you keep yours? Um, these are called single ease twists. Um, I'm going into, I I'm think I'm approaching week three. <clears throat> if I can get everybody to close their chat and go and hit the thumbs up button on this live, that would be awesome. I need to get to 100 before I'll answer any more questions. Let's wait. Right now we're at 84. 86, there, there's 200 people on here, so there's no reason why. Woo. 96, 98, 99, 103. All right. Sorry, guys. My head was kind of tight. So this is actually how I wear it. But... All right. Let's go read some more questions.
Remedy for Traction Alopecia. Thank you. Is there any elite hair care in Philadelphia? There's only one elite hair care USA and it's in Orlando, Florida. Me. What is the best remedy for an itchy scalp? Our scalp exfoliation treatment during wash day and then our hair repair and growth balm is bomb when your head is itchy. It smells like lemons and ginger. It's like a lemon drop. Hi from Las Vegas, Nevada. Hello. I can't find tickets for the Chicago event. So Hershey, you go to bossbabesbeautybrunch.com. It's also in the description box. What shortcuts are good for natural hair? I'm allergic to relaxers. Um, it depends on what you're dealing with and the stylist that's doing it and their ability to be able to do certain cuts. Hey, yo, yo. I'm showing breakage on one side of my head. What can I do about this? See a stylist to get a consultation. How often should you trim natural hair? Can someone answer Darren and tell Darren how often you should trim natural hair? Let's see who gets it right. I watched your porosity test video and found out that I'm low porosity, so I'll be buying your products. Thank you. Hi, Crystal. Hi. Miss K, LOL, that was gangsta. That was a gangsta move. I love it. <laughs> Thanks. And it's at the top right side over my ear. But it's like, right, okay. Did you do a part two on the client who had very thick hair? No, I didn't. Um, I did film a video of the end result, which I'll post on my YouTube story so you guys can see. All right, Doris, eight to 12 weeks. Andrea, every four weeks. That's a little too often, Andrea. Drusilla, natural hair, eight to 12 weeks. Relaxed hair, six to 10 weeks. Thank you, guys. I know you guys been paying attention in school. You have a hair gel for curly hair. Not yet. My niece said give her a shout out. Her name is Destiny. She just turned seven on February 26th absolutely hey this is crystal from elite hair care usa i want to give a shout out to my girl destiny who just turned seven on february 26th happy birthday girl wow thank you guys rosie i want to make an appointment with you what haircut do you do for natural hair i'm allergic to relaxers uh it depends on your hair like i said and it depends on the style that you want to achieve. I don't just depict a style for you. You have to kind of know your style or what direction you might be going. I'm glowing. That's called the ring light. <laughs> Octavia, hey boo. Hey girl, hey. I love these, but I'm kind of over them already. What's the best way to keep moisture in your natural hair? Leave-in conditioner, ensuring that you're using the right products that your hair requires. You're welcome, Destiny. <laughs> yes, Octavia, come through, girl. Thank you, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. No, <laughs> Thank you, Felicia. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and cut part one of the live. You guys definitely turn on your post notifications so you can join us for part two when I do the remainder of the cut and the curl, which will be today. So you will see this video pop up and say part two so you guys can join on and see how the end result turned out. Unfortunately, I'm not going to sit on live for 45 minutes while she processes because I have some other things that I can be doing on my cell phone. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Um, but I'll see everybody in the next 30 minutes. So make sure that your post notifications are turned on. The little bell right next to where it says subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting on? I don't get it. Hello. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in about 30 to, 30 to 40 minutes. Yes. I'm sorry. Now I'm reading stuff. Appointments for Chicago won't open until 30 days before, which a uh, part of me says that I might be moving that date, but I don't think, I don't know. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in about 30 minutes.